wanted to take a look in this video at just some of the tips and tricks that you can use within Keynote if you are editing and moving shapes around. Some of these can just save you, you know, time when it comes to doing some creation and uh, editing the shapes on the screen. So let's start with this first one. This one just looks at resizing and rotating objects. Now, the obvious thing to resize an object, if I tap on the object itself, I get the blue dots and I can easily just move that blue dot around the screen to resize it. Works well if you want to get the mirror image of an object because you can just overlap it back on itself. Now, something that usually comes up is the desire to rotate those objects as well. And there's a couple of ways to do this. One, you can just use two fingers and rotate like this. But some people find that quite fiddly. So here's an alternative way. If I tap on the screen on the object with one finger and instantly use the second finger uh, away from the object, I'm still doing the same thing. But actually, you can be a little bit more precise because my fingers aren't so close together. So that's resizing and rotating the objects. The next one to look at is to match the size. Let's imagine I want this shape over here to match the size of a different shape. Let's just add in this image of a t-shirt. Let's say the t-shirt is this size and I want the square to be the same size as this. To do that we start to edit the size by just dragging it here but simply tap on the object that you want to match it to and then it will go to that same size you can see on the grid there that the lines marry up. So just to show that again, I start to resize it and I tap on the object I want to match it to and then release. So nice and simple, great if you just want to make sure that images are aligned, boxes that you might be using are the same shape, same size, just simply start to resize, tap on the object you want to match it to, instantly going to measure that up against it. In this next one, this is about center resizing. So I want the square in the middle of the page, but actually I need it to be a different size. Now I could, you know, change the size of it and then move it around and match up with the lines, but there are quicker ways to do that. So I'll start with my shape in the center of the screen. I'm gonna to start to resize it, but now I'm just gonna tap on the screen and you'll see that it comes up there with saying center resize. Now I can continue to move it and it will stay locked to that center point from where I started moving the shape. For example, if I put the shape over here, it's not locked to the center of the screen, it's locked to the center of where I started resizing it. So that's how you can center resize something. If you just wanna make some tweaks to the size of the shape, but you don't want to move where it is on your screen. And the last one to show you is really just for that fine, precise control. If I just want to move some of those objects horizontally, vertically or diagonally. And again, we start by moving the object in the direction we want to move it in. And then if I tap on the screen, you'll see it locks it along that pane. Now, if I try to move up or down, it's not because I've locked it to that horizontal. Similarly, if I started to move it up and down, I can lock it to the vertical. And equally, if I start to drag it diagonally, I can lock it to that diagonal pane as well. So again, just a few tips on how to move those things um, in just a, a different way uh, than you might be using at the moment. And it's just a really, really nice touch. Now, the extra thing here, as you'll notice, as I tap on a second finger, I can move it in increments of certain amounts. And depending on how many fingers I use on this, I can move it in that quick way. So the multi-touch aspect of using the iPad and Keynote can just help you fine tune how you utilize those shapes. So thanks for watching. Hopefully there's some little quick tips there for how to manipulate the shapes and design features using them within Keynote. As always, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Like this video if it's been of use and if you haven't already, please subscribe to get updates on new videos that I create.